So I had a question come in on the money series I did a few weeks ago. So in that series, one of the videos I talked about is like the evolution as an entrepreneur with how you approach money and how you approach investments and, and how you look at the way the whole money puzzle works within your business. So this question came in from Scott and he says, great little series, Jeff. I just binge watched all of them. So thank you, Scott, glad you enjoyed them. He said, there is a bit of a disconnect in some way for a lot of us, or at least for me, when you talk about how when you were starting out, you had very little expenses and internet business was not what it is now. And yet you still made over $200,000 and $200,000 was worth a lot more back then. How the heck did you do that? Many of us are grinding away and that anywhere near that kind of money, even with the online business world, what it is now. What got you from point A to point B or whatever $200,000 was on your early journey? So I don't ever want to imply that it's magic and it just happened instantly. This, it, I think to get to 200,000 took me about four years. It took me about three years to get to 100 and another year to get to 200. And there's a lesson right there. I'll tell you what, the first 10,000 is the hardest. To go from 10 to 100 is, is a lot easier than to go from zero to 10 in general, in my opinion. I've also noticed that there tends to be levels in my business. So, you know, it was 10,000, then it was 100,000, then it was 200,000, then it was 600,000, then it was 4 million and on and on and on. And what precipitated those jumps was generally a change in your marketing or a change in your offers or a new lead stream. And the reality is, so there were a lot of things that were easier back then when I started in the 90s. A lot of things were easier. A lot of things were a lot harder. Figuring out how to take payment, how to actually get paid. My first sales were made, people send me checks and I go to the cash the checks at the bank. It's a lot easier to do commerce now. It's a lot easier to build pages now. They're, the audience to, that you can sell to is a hundred times bigger than it was when I started out. So many things are a lot easier. Some things are harder. It can be harder to, to get attention. It's a noisier market. It's uh, if, well, back then you couldn't advertise. There was no place to advertise. There was no Facebook advertising or Google AdWords or anything like that. So you couldn't advertise back then. But nowadays, the cost of advertising keeps on going up. So every, every year is different. Every era is different. But I'll tell you what's not different is the way I did get to $200,000 was I obsessed over building a following. I obsessed over building an email list. I obsessed over finding prospects and putting my marketing in front of them. Then I obsessed over my offers. So first it was obsessing over attracting a following. And, and if you've been watching my videos, you know, email's my favorite. You know, social's a good way to get attention. Email is the one that pays the bills. So focusing on, on getting a following, focusing on putting together an offer that converts and then focusing on your marketing for that offer. Those are the three things that will never go away. And every time I stepped up another one of those big levels in income, it was from figuring out one of those three or possibly two or three of those three things. And that hasn't changed since 1996 when I started to today. It's the same. And if, you, if you're having trouble breaking through, it's always gonna come back to one of those three. So all kinds of things have changed in these years. It's in so many ways, it's so much easier to get started. There's so many more people out there. It's easier to become a publisher instantly on social media and start pulling people in. It's easier to build a, an opt-in page, a beautiful looking opt-in page. It's easier to build out a course. It's easier to broadcast. It's easier to do video. So, much, so many things are easier, but everything, it changes nonstop. The thing that doesn't change is attract that following, build out a good offer, and then build out great marketing. And oh, by the way, after you've got that, then create another offer. Create a second offer. Create a back end. Create something else to sell the people you've already sold to. That's another thing that, that basically precipitated every single big jump, or I think pretty much every big jump is a new offer. So I'm Jeff Walker, wherever you're watching this, scroll down, leave a comment for me, and let's go get them this week.